Hi everyone! So today um, I'm showing you guys what's in my bag. I know I did a school supply video but today is mainly just for yeah for showing you what's in my bag. So here's my school bag. I'm getting some awkward looks because I'm in my apartment lounge but you know this is my school bag. It's the North Face Borealis backpack um, in pink as you can see. And let me just go through like the accessories I have here before I go into my actual bag. So here I have a Snoopy photo card holder. So I usually have a picture of my sister here, but you know, for privacy reasons, it's not there. Um, but yeah, really nice. I'll link where I got it. I'll link where I got most of the stuff in the description as well. Um, I have a pin that says beat UCLA. If you don't know, I go to University of Southern California, so of course, <laughs> enough said. Um, I have this pin that says I told you from Challengers, and I have this keychain that says engineering student, handle with care, do not pressure, and it also says caution, do not fail. I just thought it was really cute, and imagine my backpack too. And then lastly, I have this chicken nugget, dinosaur chicken nugget um, keychain, and I thought it was so just so cute. So, now getting into the actual content, I have here, this is my laptop, so it is an Apple MacBook, I'm pretty sure I got it in 2018, just, I don't know what the exact model, but that's how long ago I got it, and yeah, for, as an engineering student, you know, I got a lot of concern about whether or not this is still going to be able to handle everything um, but she's been doing just fine I feel like she can run she's very her data is not that great like it's there's not a lot of storage on here or me memory on here but um, she can run MATLAB just fine so far I've been able to see um, so yeah, hopefully I won't have to upgrade in the future. And yeah, most of these stickers are also from like small businesses or sticker books. Um, I won't be able to link all of them, but I'll try my best. And then I also have my tablet in here, my iPad. So here's the back. And then, so I have um, more um, stickers from small businesses some more from sticker books and then this is from my old work and this is where I go right now so here I'm covering it because it has my name on it but here I have even more stickers some from various places and above that I was covering here too so yeah I got this for free actually from my old school I transferred from a community college before I came here to USC and I got that this iPad for free. It was it's the iPad Air. I'm pretty sure the color is Starlight. I did an unboxing, but it's like hidden inside of a vlog on my channel. And then in the second pocket, I have a bunch of the stuff that I usually take to school. Usually I also bring my um, bioengineering textbook. I'm a bioengineering student, so I usually bring that textbook to class twice a week, but I don't have it here. But here I do have, so I have this folder. I recently just cleaned it out, but it has my folder for one of my classes, and that's pretty much all that's here. I usually stuff loose papers in here to take home, and then I never, like, <laughs> I never look back at them. Um, I have here my folder, oh, my class finder, actually, for my differential equations class. It's fine, even though the sticker is kind of messed up because it's kind of thin. Um, the sign says math, and then yeah, I recently cleaned out my notes here because I I noticed I was I I have a bigger binder that I like to store my notes in, and this is just like the smaller one that I actually use when I'm storing notes for class or like once I'm over with the quiz, I like to move it over to the big. Um, binder so that I don't have all that stuff left in my backpack just so that I have less to carry because
because I, I have to walk pretty far to get to campus. But here's some of my notes. We recently, we've just started doing um, second order ODEs. Um, this is when I forgot my pen to class one day, so I had to borrow one. Um, but yeah, I need to touch these up a little bit, make them easier for me to understand. And then I have like a bunch of paper that I just refilled. And then lastly, I have my notebook for my cinema class. It's quite thin. I um, I wasn't planning on taking notes physically for this class until I found out it was kind of required because we have to watch movies in the theater in the dark, obviously, so it's going to bother a lot of people if I have my iPad on during a movie if I want to take notes. But yeah, so some of my notes, it's a lot more scattered because um, unlike math, where I feel like it's a lot of doing problems and learning as you go along, that's also why I like to take my math notes physically, like that's, I take most of my notes digitally now, except for math, like that's the one thing that I just cannot do, um, digitally, but, yeah. So, a lot of flip up, um, again, that one day that I forgot my um, pen, just a lot of notes on film form and stuff. And I actually like, me personally, I like the way I take notes. If I, I might make a video on how I take them, but I feel like me, like what I do, wouldn't really work for a lot of people. Um, and then I have this book, I have Crush by Richard Sikin, Sikin? I don't know how it's pronounced, but yeah. It's just for when I get bored and I don't really wanna, I don't have anything to do. Cause I like getting things done as soon as possible. Just so that work doesn't end up piling up. Like I get really annoyed when that happens. So a lot of the time in between my classes, that's the time I use to do my assignments. I have nothing to do. So instead of just like doom scrolling, I like, I brought this just so I can have something quick to read. More stuff here. It's all buried under the bottom. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I have my pencil cases and my calculator. I'm pretty sure I've shown them in previous videos. One of my first videos was like just showing what's in my pencil cases. Um, so if you're curious, you can watch that for more depth. But here it's a Muji pencil case. It has Joshua from Seventeen on it. I have my pencils here. These are my ride or dies. I've had these for, um, I guess, six years now, each of these. Yeah, <laughs> um, I love these pencils. Like once you find the pencils that you really like, you can't really like change, you know. Um, I have some rulers in here in case I ever need a straight edge. I never really use rulers for actually measuring stuff, which is probably why I have no sense of scale. But I only use these if I need like a straight edge in one of my classes. But again, I don't really take most of my most of my notes physically anymore. Um, I have an extra eraser, and then I have my lead in here for when I run out of it. And then my actual eraser in here. She's a little beat up, but I love her. Um, and then I have my pen case. So I like to split pencils, pens up. Um, just cause like having a mental note of like what I can erase, like erasables and stuff that you can't like undo. And then I have like a little Lego Ron from Harry Potter on here. Um, this pencil case is also a Muji. I've had this forever. And let's see what's in here. So I have have my whiteout in here. I have my brush pen that really doesn't get that much use, honestly. Um, I have two pens. One of my pens I forgot at home, which I'm really sad about. But it was basically this one in a lighter pink color. Um, but I use this pen a lot more than this one because I feel like this one's just a lot smoother and this one's a little more scratchy on certain types of paper but they're both great like if I'm running a rush I, like I don't mind um, I have these scissors that are also from Muji and just a bunch of mild liners so a few of these I've had for years these ones that I've definitely had for years this one too actually um, but I've like last year I got so tired of color or of like using the same four colors in my notes so i got these ones last year but then i got tired of these ones too 
So I recently got these ones. I used to have this one. I don't know where it went. My sister probably stole it. But I just decided to get two blue ones because I felt like it was wrong for me to have red, green, yellow, but no blue. So, yeah. <laughs> and then finally, must, must have for any STEM student. A calculator. I got a TA84. It's a graphing calculator. Even though I don't really need uh, one that actually graphs anymore because now I'm starting to use MATLAB for my classes. Um, it's still nice to have and it was great, like really great to have while I was in my previous classes. So that's, yeah, it's just, it's just nice to have. like less school -y stuff and more just general um here in this front pocket i have my airpods so i have these um keychains that i earn not phone charm one phone charms i mean that i got from the boys of the concert my earbuds and yeah i got this um this airpod case was from a small business in korea and then i have my emergency items um i have my pepper gel which is i heard it was better than pepper spray and i forgot my pepper spray well my old pepper spray i've had for like five six years yeah six years so like there's no really point for me to bring that because i feel like that's just way too old anyway so i got this i got pepper gel because i heard it's better than pepper spray but it's also like for this one you can like have it like this if you're walking in the dark um yeah i just like having it in case of emergency especially since um I live pretty far from campus, but I have I don't have a car, so I just walk. Like it can take like up to 30 minutes. So it's just nice to have. And then I also have this taser here and it also has a flashlight as well. So it's nice. Hopefully I would never have to use these, but you know, you can never be too safe. USC has a program where you get free lift. You get a free lift after, um, I think it's 6 p.m. Um, for like two, two miles around campus. So that's really nice. Um, and then I also have this pocket, a really cute pocket. So I have my um, charger, my MacBook charger has a little Pop Mart charm on here. And then I have also some. Oh! I also have some hand cream that I should be using more. I bought a bunch of hand cream when I was on a trip just because I got like panicky. I was just like, oh, I want to try so many hand cream so bad. I don't know what went through my head. Like this is from France. I got this in France or something. Um, but yeah, uh, I should definitely be using this because now that I'm like, I'm out more, I wash my hands a lot more. If that makes sense because like i don't like like when you're home like you do a lot of things like i don't know how to explain it but i feel like because i'm like in a place where everything's new to me i end up washing my hands a lot more because i'm just like germaphobic but like because of that your hands get drier faster so it's nice to have hand cream i should be using it more and i have hand wipes because sometimes you can't wash your hands but, and like sanitizer isn't enough. Like I hate sticky feeling, so must, must have. Then we have some hand sanitizer. This is a touch lamp one. I'm pretty sure I got this to top off my Sephora order once because I didn't have enough for free, for the free gift. But I like it. I like touch lamp sanitizer, they're pretty good. I have an emergency charger here, which is also like, it's the same kind, so, like I have a USB-C and then a regular like lightning charger here because um, the USB-C, it works for my iPad, my MacBook, my phone because I have the iPhone 15, but the lightning charger is for my AirPods if they're ever um, like low battery. So yeah, plus it's more convenient because you don't always have it like outlet near you. So it's just nice to have and like if I'm walking around but my phone is low on battery, I can just plug this in and keep walking around. And then I have my wallet. This is just from, uh, this wallet was a gift. Um, yeah. 
there's just a bunch of gift cards in there. It's like a, it's like a regular card wallet. Um, I have this um, pocket tissue, these lonely po pocket tissues that are just begging for me to use them. I should probably replace it sometime soon. I have this like pouch here and I have some contacts, um, some medication like um, Advil and Tylenol if I ever like have a headache and I have eye drops as well and some Trader Joe's green tea mix. And then I also have, I like to call this like my band-aid box. It's from my Come on the Boys unboxing. This had photo cards in it if you remember that video. But I have just Neos Foreign and just a bunch of bluey bandages I love. In the side here, there's some side pockets. So I usually put a Trader Joe's oat latte in here. It's like three dollars, and like I can't afford to be going to Dulce every single day, but I need that caffeine boost, so I usually have it. And then I also have here my lanyard because USC has a policy where you have to show your ID to get into campus. So it's just nice because I can just pull it like that. Unfortunately, it won't freaking scan through the plastic. I think at the libraries it does, but for if you're trying to enter, it won't. So I have to take it out, but it's nice because this is just like a Ziploc. So I can just pull it out like that. And then here's my bus card. Um, I just have my lanyard in general here. I know it's this pocket because I put the Amoeba Music pin here, but yeah. Lanyard is for Turby. That's the engineering school because I'm one of the engineering students. I have another hand sanitizer here, my keys, I have a mini Summer Fridays lip balm here if my lips ever feel chapped. I really like it. And I also have some keychains, so I have this one, a few that my mom gave me, so I have Shrek, I have um, Lucy from Peanuts, Lucy from Peanuts, sorry. And yeah, that's what's in my bag, that's pretty much it. So the last thing is something that is actually popping my phone up right now so I can take this video, my Owala. I, it's not in my bag, I never put it in my bag, but it's like pretty much, I take it to school every single day. So insert picture of Owala here. But yeah, that was what's in my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as me, a student. <laughs> it's. I think most schools are back by now, most high schools should be back right now, but like quarter system colleges probably aren't yet. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you again at the next one. Bye!